What's up guys, Jerry from Hosting Admiral here. In previous videos, I went over how to set up SiteGround and install WordPress on your SiteGround server. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up FTP so you can access and manage your backend server files. So before we get started, you're gonna wanna make sure you have FileZilla downloaded on your computer. This is just a client that allows you to view the file structure of your server. Uh, the link to this will be available in the description. Once, you're, once you get to this page, just click Download FileZilla Client and then make sure you choose the FileZilla option. And this will prompt you to just uh, install and set up the exe okay once you have filezilla downloaded on your computer you're going to want to make your way to your siteground dashboard if you don't know how to get here in the url just type my.siteground.com that'll prompt you to log in and after logging in it'll direct you to this page so once you're here in the menu just click websites next find your website and click site tools and then once you're on this page just click file manager Okay, as you can see here, we have the web version of the file manager. Now, this is not what we want. We want to be able to access our files from our own computer using FileZilla. So the way that we do this is by first creating an FTP account with SiteGround. So to do this, just go in the sidebar here and click FTP accounts. You'll need to type in an account name and a password. Just click create and then your account will appear on bottom here just as mine has. Now, in order to access your FTP credentials, just go to the three dots here under actions and click FTP credentials. And this will give you all the information you need to log in via FileZilla. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up FileZilla here. I'm going to move this to the side here and I'm just going to copy the information. Quick connect. This message will come up. Just click OK. And boom. Now we have access to our backend server files. So here, if I double click my website name and go to public HTML, you can see all the WordPress content that has been installed. So let's just say if I wanted to access my themes folder, I just have to go to WP content and then click themes and you can see all the themes that are installed. Same thing goes for plugins. If I click here, you can see all the plugins that are installed. Now, um, if I wanted to edit a file in here, like let's just say I wanted to edit my WP settings uh, .php file. All I have to do is right click and do and click view edit. And then uh, let me just click OK. And this message will come up. I just click OK again. Now, this will open up the file in a, your default text editor. Mine happens to be Notepad. For you, it might be just regular Notepad. But as you can see, there's a lot of stuff in here. If I was a developer or if I knew what I was doing, I could come and tweak this file um, and make changes, then just file save to upload it re-upload it back to the server. Um, so that's why being able to access your FTP is very handy, uh, especially if you have other people coming to work on your website, they're gonna need access to your server files. So that is how you go about directly editing your server files. Now, one thing I'm going to bring up is the difference between this right window and this left window. Now, obviously this window here is all your server files, while the window on the left here, this is actually your personal computer files. So I can actually drag files to my personal uh, computer here from the server. And now if I want to access this folder in the Windows Explorer, all I have to do is copy the address here, do Windows key E to bring up the file explorer and then paste that address in the address bar. And as you can see, we have uh, our license.txt here that we dragged over from the server. Now I'm gonna create a new file here. I'm just gonna call it myfile.txt and then click out. Now, as you can see, it is not appearing here in FileZilla and that's because I just need to right click and click refresh. And now it's right here. And I can also do the same thing vice versa, take files from my own personal computer and drag it over back to the server. So that is how you upload files from FileZilla, uh, from your personal computer to the server using FileZilla. All right, well, that's everything I wanted to cover in this video today. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below, and I'll do my best to get back and respond to everybody. Thanks for watching once again, guys, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.